Hey my lovelies, it's Maria, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then welcome, thank you so much for being here, welcome to the family, we really appreciate you. So today I am back with another book video, I'm going to be doing a reading monthly wrap up of every single book that I read in May. So I read 10 plus books kind of proud of myself actually because the last book video we did I'll link it up by here if you haven't seen it where I only read viral book talk books for the entire month of March I actually only read four books that month in that video so we've definitely improved I have some five star reads in here and I also have a one star read so yeah. you'll definitely find some book recommendations in today's video and books that you must read so let's just get on with it okay it's so the very first book that I read in May you've probably already guessed it was Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. So everyone knows Colleen Hoover by now, or as we call her, Coho. This is actually my third Coho book that I've ever read. My first one was It Ends With Us and my second one was Verity. So this book is about a girl called Tate and a guy called Miles. And basically they kind of decide to have like a friends with benefits relationship. And guys, we all know that never really works, does it? This is really like spicy by the way. So if you're under 18, then yeah, you probably shouldn't read it because it is quite spicy but it is dual pov as well but it's past and present so we get to hear tate's like version in the present and then it also flashes back to miles in the past and everything he's been through to explain like why he's like this grumpy guy with no trust in life basically i gave it a four stars currently it is my least favorite coho book i'm probably gonna get destroyed for that comment but it was still a classic coho really big plot twist actually once you understand what the cover means it hits you deep. So yeah, I would still recommend solid four stars. Okay, next I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Oh my gosh, guys. I've been seeing this everywhere, all over book talk, and it did not disappoint. I gave this book five stars. Now, normally I don't like historical things or things set back in time. I don't know why, but it really bores me. But this was so good. This book is about a Hollywood icon called Evelyn Hugo. And she employs this reporter called Monique Grant to finally tell her life story. Like Evelyn's getting old now and she's like, you know what? I finally want to tell my story of what it was really like in Hollywood and what it was really like having seven husbands. What I liked is that this book was split into the seven husbands. It helped it flow really nicely. So like the first husband was Ernie. Then it moved on to the second one, Dan and Adler. Yeah, you get the idea. And then it also has like little magazine prints halfway through, which makes you feel like you're really in that era. Like literally, if you read this book, you're gonna feel like you were thrown back to the 1950s onwards. Solid five stars, highly, highly recommend, you'll love it. Okay, next up, I read a book that I feel is very me, actually. Kisses and croissants. It is literally pink. It is a love story set in Paris around the Eiffel Tower. And the main character is there because of ballet. Like she's been invited to go and do this summer ballet program. So guys, it's pink, it's a love story and it's about ballet. So this is probably why I loved it so much. I gave it a 4.5 stars. I don't know, it was kind of just your typical like cringy summer romance, but because it related to me and like ballet and everything, it rated higher for me. I don't know if it would rate so high for you guys, but if you're looking for like no spice and um, just like a cute little love story set in Paris, then honestly, it is perfect. It would be a good summer read actually. So Maya goes to Paris to do this ballet program and then she falls for a guy called Louis, but she doesn't know that Louis is actually the son of a really scary new ballet teacher so then things get kind of messy and yeah but it's really cute highly recommend the next book i read was called the x hex i gave this a four stars as well again this was such an easy read i read it in like three days it's a really cute story the only thing is which is this is like my fault completely but guys i should have read this in October. Do not read this in the summer because it's going to give you fall vibes and you're going to wish it was Halloween. You literally feel like you're living in Halloween time. Like the pumpkins, the cats, the spiced lattes. Like if you read this in October it's going to be such a vibe but just don't read it yet. It's literally the perfect rom-com though. There is romance in here but it is so funny. Like witty banter i loved it so it's about a girl called a vivi and she is a witch living in like this halloween town basically she falls for this guy called reese 
Pen Hallow and he kind of messes her around like he dumps her he breaks her heart um so then Vivi and her sister I believe they decided to curse Reese Pen Hallow like in proper witch form they curse him and they don't think it works and then nine years later Reese turns back up in this Halloween town and then all these bad things start happening to him like he nearly gets crushed by a statue like he's just a bad luck omen wherever he goes and like he doesn't know like why are all these bad things happening to me it's so funny and then she's like that might have been me, I might have cursed you. So then they'd have to try and like release the curse on him. So there's romance, witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, just read it in October and you will fall in love with this book, I promise. Okay, next. Now this is where things start to really fluctuate because I actually have a five star read. November 9th by Coho. Again, another Colleen Hoover book. My fourth one, but I gave this five stars. Oh my gosh, when I tell you I flew through this and I couldn't put it down. It's incredible. So it's about a, a boy called Ben and a girl called Fallon and they meet on November 9th and it's kind of like insta love, like they instantly like really really like each other and fall for each other but they're not in places in their lives where they can be together so they decide like you know what, what we're gonna do for like the next five years is just meet up on this one day November 9th. So they part ways after like kind of falling in love instantly and then the, the next time we catch up with them it's been a whole year later and it's November 9th of the next year and they have their one day and then it's November 9th of the next year so imagine how quick this book flows like we're literally catching up with these characters on one day of the year November 9th and so much has changed and so much has goes on as per usual with Coho there's a massive plot twist heartbreak oh my gosh you should read this book five stars okay and then I had a one star and I don't even have this book with me it was so bad I don't even know what I did with it I think I might have gave it to like the goodwill or something or like maybe I just put it on my wall outside my house and I like, hoped that someone would take it from me because this book was so bad <clears throat> so this book is called The Violent Season and I originally gave it two stars and then after thinking about it I was like that is being way too generous like I am giving this book a one star so this is what the back says listen to how good this sounds there is something terribly wrong in the town of Wolf Ridge. Every November, every teen is overwhelmed with a hunger for violence. At least that's what the urban legend says. How good does that sound? That sounds like a book that I would love. A murder mystery. Okay, no. I'm not even kidding you. There are four characters in this entire book. Four. The main girl, don't even remember her name. It was that bad. Her best friend Cash. Her dad. And then this other random guy that's meant to be her love interest in school, but is just dead. Because there was only like four characters in the whole entire book. Like it was obvious who did it. I guessed it like on the second page. The only reason I gave it one star was because I read it in like two days. It was really easy to read, but nothing happened. How people like this book, I don't know. So, but if you do like this book, I'm really, really sorry. But yeah, one star. Moving on. Next up, we have another five star read. This is so made up for it. Oh my gosh, this book, The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. This is book number one. It's gonna be a trilogy. Book number two is already out. I need to get it. This is set in like a massive theme park or amusement park called Dreamland, which is basically like Disneyland. How fun is that? It is really spicy though. So again, if you're under the age of 18, Mm -mm. So there are three brothers, Rowan, Declan and Callum, and each of the books are about the three brothers. So this book is about Rowan, the second book is about Declan, and then the third book will be about Callum. So basically, their grandfather, the owner of Dreamland, this amusement park, dies and he leaves behind a letter and he gives each of the boys, like, something to do if they want to inherit the billions of pounds. So they're billionaires, but they have to complete this one mission that their grandfather has left behind for them to get the money. So Rowan in book one, his grandfather has said to him that he has to come up with a new idea for Dreamland, like a new ride, like he has to transform the amusement park and like upgrade it basically. So he employs a girl called Zara to try and like come up with this idea because she's really creative and then obviously they start to like fall for one another. It's grumpy sunshine because he is really really grumpy and she is like happy, go lucky and kind to everyone. But yeah, I flew through this book. It's so good, five stars. Okay, we're getting there. Next up, I read another Coho book, Without Merit. Now, everywhere I've looked, this has been like one of the lowest rated Colleen Hoover books 
that she's ever written but I give it a 4.5 stars I actually love this book so basically there's this really odd family and they live in a church like the dad bought the church and like transformed it into a house so they live in an old church but the dad is an atheist he doesn't even believe so there's like giant statues of Jesus on the walls and he doesn't even believe in Jesus um then there's Merit and then she has a brother a sister the mum lives in the basement and doesn't ever come out and then the dad is married to the mum's old nurse so she is living there now it is really like such an odd dynamic and basically Merit the girl she knows all their secrets she knows a bunch of really like dark stuff about each family member and she decides one day like you know what I'm just gonna tell I'm gonna write down all of these secrets and give a letter to each person in my family and just spill the tea sis so yeah you can imagine how much that blows up so there's drama there's romance check the trigger warnings though but yeah I actually really liked it I thought the odd dynamic made me feel like I was literally living in this church with this family so I gave it 4.5 stars I loved it next <sighs> guys I read the new book by Emily Henry okay this is gonna sound really bad but this is the first Emily Henry book I've ever read I have actually bought Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation. They're on my summer reading list. I've just bought them now. But this, I don't think anything's going to be able to top this book. Like, this is probably going to be my favourite Emily Henry book. I already know it. I give this a five stars. It was incredible. It's a rom-com and it's set in the town of Sunshine Falls. Like, how perfect is that? And it's about a writer, sorry, a literary agent called Nora and this guy Charlie who is an editor. So they're in the book business. They meet briefly for a meeting and they don't get on and then she goes to Sunshine Falls and then he's there and she's like he's gonna think I'm like stalking him how is he here and it turns out that he has family there she's on vacation there and then yeah like obviously things start to develop but there's also like family dynamics there's a good storyline that goes on with Nora and her sister as well it is the perfect summer read five star highly recommend okay we have two books left the tenth book that I read in May was another Colleen Hoover book guys Layla guys I have no words for this book five star this is like up there for top spot I absolutely love this book so it is something completely different than Colleen Hoover has done um it's about like the supernatural so there's this guy leads and he meets a girl called Layla at this bed and breakfast at a wedding and it's kind of like insta love like they instantly fall for one another and really like one another and it's all going good for like a few months and then a terrible accident happens it does say on the back of the book but I won't say what um, and something happens to Layla she's in hospital for months and then Leeds is like not feeling it anymore so he's like right to rekindle the spark I'm gonna take you back to the bed and breakfast where we met to see if we can you know get this spark back Turns out the bed and breakfast is shut down now. It's no longer running. So he's like, can I just rent it out for like a week or two? And he pays the people, yeah, sure. And then when they live in there, you know, creepy things start to happen. Things are set on fire, furniture's moving. Oh my gosh, guys, it is so good. I can't even tell you, when I got to the end, I cried. Like I literally cried. Please read this book. I, you won't regret it, five stars. Okay, and the final book that I read in May the love hypothesis now i'm not gonna lie i don't know why i wasn't feeling this maybe it's because i just read 10 other books i was a bit burnt out it is another rom-com it is spicy i didn't think it would be spicy um it's basically about olive she's a student and adam he's a professor but they're not in each other's class so it's not like against the rules or anything but this book is fake dating so basically she has to fake date him to convince her best friend that she's over this guy and he has to fake date her so he doesn't like get fired basically it was really good it was a slow start for me but i like i said i just read 10 books guys at this point i'm a bit burnt out um i gave it a four stars but i could probably rate that to a 4.5 like it is really good easy to read the scenes in the coffee shops just had me like I felt like I was there I was having a Starbucks and that pumpkin spice latte with these people you know what I mean there's like a plot twist and then you just want the plot twist to come out and it's frustrating because it's not coming out but yeah ultimately it was a good end to the month so overall I actually had five five star reads this month and apart from that one one star read it was a really good month all the others were like four to four point five like oh my gosh yeah i had a really good month so i went to the bookshop the other day and i bought all of these 
<laughs> to try and read in June. This is like my summer reading list. So there's more Coho and there's Confess, All Your Perfects, Heart Bones. That's like a really summery Coho book apparently. Then we also have The Unhoneymooners, Beach Read, Summer of Broken Rules, We Were Liars. Yeah, so all of these I'm gonna try and get through. So if you've watched this far in the video, let me know if you want me to do another one of these videos, what, what I read in June. Um, or if you want me to do like a summer reading video. So like basically just let me know if you want any more book videos. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what book you're reading at the moment or if you've read any of these books and your opinion on them, I would love to chat with you guys. And then saying that, I will see you soon in my next video tomorrow. I love you, have a great day, keep shining, bye! Mwah.